Good morning, friends, and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. Yes, I'm in my pajamas. No, they don't match, and I don't care. Um, wow, I couldn't believe last night's pizza shop how busy we were. I thought no one's coming out in this uh, 40 below weather to get pizza, and they sure did. But we did close about an hour early so I could let my staff go home, be safe and everything. So this morning I've been up preparing for tonight. We'll have Christmas Eve with Brock's parents, and then tomorrow... I will have Christmas dinner, so I'm preparing some things for that. So, I've already baked two nine-inch cakes. I'm going to make an old-fashioned coconut cake like my mom all totally used to make. Oh, it will not taste like hers, but I loved her coconut cakes, and I miss her so much. So, anyway, right now I am making stuffed mushrooms to go with our ribeyes tomorrow. We grill ribeyes on Christmas. I'm glad it's going to warm up a little bit, so when I go out to grill the ribeyes, I don't freeze my bahutes off. So let me show you what I've got going on. I fried off um, two pounds of breakfast sausage. You could do any kind of sausage you want, a spicy if you want that. This is just regular old breakfast sausage. I can't believe no one has woken up from the smell of cake and sausage in my house. They must be really tired. So what I've done also is I've taken, uh, I've got four packs of button mushrooms and I just popped those stems out of there and kind of pushed it around with my thumb. Took all those little stems, put them in my little oyster and chopped them up. And that's what's in the skillet now is those mushroom stems. I didn't uh, drain the, the grease off of the sausage, which wasn't much. And I just threw the mushrooms and onions right in there. So those are all the stems from those mushrooms. Now to that, I'm going to add um, one bag of chopped spinach. I know that seems a lot, but as you know, spinach wilts. So I chopped half the bag. I'm just going to loosely chop it. Um, I had some really great friends this year get me some really nice gifts, and I appreciate it. Cheryl and Ma Ma Megan and um, Lynn Stevens. And um, it's just really nice. And my friend Tammy. Give me some really nice things, and I really appreciate it. I love my friends, such good people. And my friend Amy, she sent me some um, green tomato jam. I've never had green tomato jam. It's delicious. So I'm going to, uh, I didn't expect it to be sweet, but it was sweet. So anyway, I'm going to have it tomorrow some with my cornbread. Ooh la la. Okay, so tomorrow our menu is um, ribeyes, um, Twice baked potato casserole, which I may show you. These stuffed mushrooms, we're doing greens with a ham hock, cornbread, and my mom is uh, making her famous 24 hour salad, which is delicious. Okay. So that's our menu for tomorrow. So we're just going to wilt down that spinach, and what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to add just a little pinch of chicken broth. That'll help wilt that spinach a little bit without adding any extra oil. And then I'm going to add some SPG to this. And I also added SPG to the mushroom stems and onions when I cook those down. Okay, so we're just going to wilt that spinach. Get it cooked down. Now I have four, four eight ounce um, containers of the white button mushrooms because they will not go to waste in our house. The kids absolutely love them. This is one thing they agree on. Um, so if you don't like sausage, you could do bacon. You could do imitation crab meat. Of course, you wouldn't cook that. You could just leave that um, cold since it's cooked. Anything you want. Clams, no meat. I've made a meatless before. Maddie, she's not my meat eater. Looks like a piece of onion skin. Let me get that out of there. Yeah, a little piece of onion skin. Um, even though Maddie's not a big meat eater, red meat eater, she does like the sausage in there. Okay, so we're getting down, getting this spinach wilted. So inside of here in my mixing bowl, which I may have to get a bigger one. This one may not be big enough. I have um, two packages of cream cheese. Okay. Let me see. Let me get a bigger bowl down. Oh. Sorry for the armpit shot. Okay, so I think this is wielded enough. I'm going to shut this off. 
I'm going to go ahead and add my cream cheese into here. I'm afraid my favorite mixing bowl here is not going to be enough. So let me tell you some things that I do, little tips here. I always start me a sink of hot soapy dish water so I can wash dishes along the way when I'm prepping things like this up. Um, because it just makes it easier. Because I don't have a dishwasher, so I know. Oh, she won't have a dishwasher. So now I don't have a dishwasher. Brock offered several years to install me a dishwasher, but I would have to give up two of my cabinets to hold all my wonderful baking dishes. I said, I'm out. Nope, not giving up my space for my um, baking dishes. I will hand wash my dishes. So there you have it. I made my choices and I'm happy with them. Plus we have, um, we live out here in the country, our little country house here. And we have well water. Of course, we have a well soft. We have a water softener and put salt in it and things. But our water is really. Um, we live out in the middle of the woods. So we, my husband says it's swamp water, so it's really hard water. So um, I go through several coffee pots um, if I don't use bottled water from the iron buildup. So I knew that it wouldn't last anyway. So anyway, there's the story of why poor Chris doesn't have a dishwasher. I need a I need a sous chef to come and wash those dishes for me. Okay, so anyway, I've got the cream cheese. I'm gonna add the sausage now. And I'm not gonna add all of this sausage. I'm gonna play this by ear. Because I may not need all of um, the two container, the two packages. Like I said, Maddie's not a big sausage eater and that sausage will not go to waste. Someone will get up and eat it for breakfast. Also, if you have extra mixture left over after stuffing your mushrooms, you can bake it off and eat it just like that because it's delicious or um, like I do I put it around the sides of the mushrooms I fill in those spaces so I'm just gonna dump this right in to that cream cheese mixture Take that out of the way so hopefully you can see so here we have um, a big bowl and it has the two packages of softened cream cheese. It has one package of spinach. So I just buy this. It's an eight ounce package and I just roughly chop it. And all of the mushroom stems from four packages of mushrooms. I throw those in my little oster to save time and just let it chop them up. I didn't want to pulverize them. I just wanted a quick chop. So I let it do the work for me this morning. And then some onions. And of course, SPG. Okay. So here's our mixture. Now I'm gonna taste it. Listen, if you don't taste your food when you cook, you're doing yourself a huge disservice because you need to taste your food. And you can adjust your seasonings, but please taste your food. Okay. That's your PSA from Miss Kristen. Try this. Let me get it by here. Good. I am going to add a little bit more sausage. See, that's the thing you can always add, you can't take away. So I'm going to add a little bit more sausage. I'm also going to add a little of Aleppo pepper for some spice. Now, if you don't have Aleppo pepper, you can use red pepper flakes or none at all. It's your, it's your food. You do what you want. Okay, so I am going to add a little salt. Okay. Now I'm going to stir that around. And then it's real simple. I just bought one of these um, throwaway pans for the mushrooms. Just to make my life a little easier tomorrow. Try this really quick. Again, I have a clean fork. It's just for my family anyway. We're good. Okay. So all you do, it's a simple procedure. This would be great for New Year's Eve if you're going somewhere, if you have friends. Huh. I always work on New Year's Eve, but it's great anytime, honestly. It's really good. Winter, summer, fall, 
all the seasons. Speaking of all the seasons, Lord have mercy. We're in Southern Ohio and it is, it got 35 below last night. It's going to be 60 degrees next week. We have every season here in, Ohio, in Southern Ohio, all in one week. So just hang on. We have goats and chickens and one of the little chickens I noticed yesterday, she was not in with the other chickens. So I got Mason, my son. We call him the flock father. They're his chickens. He went out and got her right away. He brought her in the house, wrapped her up in a towel, kept her warm, got her body temperature back up. And then once she got uh, warmed up and feeling better, he put her in with the rest of the chickens. And she's doing fine. He checked on them last night. And the goats, we got a heat lamp out there, extra straw. So thank God our electric stayed on. Thank God our, all of our animals are safe. Okay, so here we go. Just took a little spoon. Just filled that little hole right up with like that. And that's all you'll do. And you'll just keep filling them. Like I said, if I have leftover filling, I will put it in the spaces between the mushrooms. And then once I have these filled, I will top these with cheese. Now I use white cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you want. You could skip the cheese. It's totally personal preference. I will bake these at probably about 375 tomorrow. And then if I need to, I'll hit them with the broiler. And that's it. It's that simple. It's delicious. It's low carb. If you're doing low carb, it's wonderful things all mixed in together. So that's it for today. I may show you that mashed potato casserole later. Um, it's a super cheat, easy twice baked, um, twice baked potato casserole that I do. And it's a cheat and it's easy and it's simple. Okay guys, so Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful holiday, however you choose to celebrate your holiday. And um, I will talk to you later. Thank you. I don't know where my clicker is. I don't know where I laid my clicker. Somebody's gonna have to come in and click it. Ooh, close up. Look at that, oh my goodness.